there, welcome to my kitchen. All right, so what I'm gonna make today is a bit of an appetizer platter. I'm gonna smoke on my Traeger a uh, nice sockeye salmon filet. Um, I'm gonna do it low and slow, it's gonna take about four to five hours. What I've done first is I've brined my filet and uh, a mixture in the fridge for about four hours. What I put in my mixture was one cup of vodka, about three cups of um, water, a half cup of kosher salt, half cup of maple syrup, a full cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of um, lemon pepper seasoning, one tablespoon of black pepper, and a squirt of hot sauce, as well as one lemon, which I juiced, and I also put the lemon in with my brine. So that's been going for four hours. You can do it for up to about eight hours uh, in the brine. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna give the filet a nice rinse under water, and then I'm gonna pat it dry with uh, just some paper towel. And I'm gonna sprinkle the top with the, the lemon pepper seasoning. Once I'm done that, I'll get my Traeger going and I'll show you that process. When it's all ready, I'm gonna serve it with um, some toasted baguette pieces that will be drizzled with olive oil, salt, and pepper. I'm gonna have a lemon uh, dill cream cheese, some dried capers, and some pickled red onion, as well as some cucumber. Um, I'll show you the platter at the very end. It's really, really nice if you're having people over or you know, a dinner and you wanna start with a little appetizer, it's fantastic. All right, well, I'm gonna go and get this rinsed off and get my uh, Traeger started. So I've got my smoker set to smoke, which ranges between about 160 to 180. You don't really wanna go in above 180. Um, I've got apple chips in there. My sockeye salmon is all ready to go. She's looking good. Um, I'm going to just throw it on now. I've got my uh, meat thermometer. Which I threw in the thickest part of the fish. I want the internal temperature to get to 140. So like I said, it should take about four to five hours. Um, once that's done, I'll show you uh, what it looks like. All right, so it's been three hours. We're internal temp of 120. She is looking good. So my salmon's done. It took about four and a half hours. Uh, I pulled it when the internal temperature was 140, and it honestly it turned out perfectly. The fish looks fantastic. I've cut it in half already. Um, this is just an appetizer, so I'm going to save the other half for another day. Uh, so I've cut it up. I've put it on my tray. I've already got my cucumber slices on the side. I've got arugula in the middle, and I've got my baked capers. These are fantastic. So you just use regular capers. Uh, you turn your oven on to 400, put them on a, a cookie sheet. You bake them for about 20 minutes, uh, giving them a good shake every 10 minutes, maybe twice throughout the cooking process. So they take about 20 minutes to do, uh, but then they wind up like these dried out, crunchy croutons. They are so good. You can add this to anything. Like if you make halibut, uh, just regular salmon, or if you make a salad even, you could throw it in there, tacos. It goes on everything. Pizza, I could keep going, but I'm losing track of what I'm trying to discuss here. So I'll stop. But they are delicious. You have to try those. They're a burst of flavor. All right, what else I have here is my cream cheese. So I used a half cup of softened cream cheese. I used um, one tablespoon of lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice, and about a tablespoon of a fresh cut dill. Chop it up nice and fine, mix it all together, and it's this amazing cream cheese that's gonna go so well with the smoked salmon. All right, um, I also have my pickled red onions, if you can see that without me spilling. So what I did for this one is you chop your red onion really thin, like as thin as you can get them. Um, and then you, the mixture for the pickling is um, a quarter cup apple cider vinegar, quarter cup white vinegar, uh, quarter cup maple syrup, 
uh, one and a half teaspoon salt, kosher salt, a uh, quarter cup of water, and uh, one teaspoon of sriracha. So you mix that all together till the salt has dissolved and the hot sauce is mixed in there real good. You can add a little bit more water if you need to. You just want to make sure your onions are fully covered. I let this sit in the fridge for four hours. It's called a quick pickle. It, it probably was done even a couple hours ago, but since the fish wasn't ready yet, I left it in there. So they're going to be really good and it's this pop of like acidity that you need on these crackers with the smoked salmon. It just works so well. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a good bunch of this and add it to my dish in this pretty little bowl. One more scoop. The good thing about this is whatever I have left over, you can add that too to a lot of stuff because it adds a really nice pop of flavor. So if you're making a salad or something, this will definitely add something, a little zing to it. Or if you're making tacos, like a pulled pork taco and you throw these on, oh, yep. All right, so I've got enough going there. I've got a bunch left over, which I'll save for later. And what else I have here is just a baguette that I sliced up nice and thin, and I just drizzled it with olive oil and covered it with a little bit of salt and pepper so everything gets a little bit. Toast or bake them, broiled them, I guess, for five minutes just until the edges start to brown. You don't want it to get too hard, but you want a nice crisp to it, like a cracker almost. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add them along the side, just like this. This dish is actually so nice. Like it looks beautiful and people are always wowed when they see it. So if you're trying to impress somebody or make, you know, a plate that's kind of like a has the wow factor, this is it. Even if you're just having like a simple dinner party with a bunch of friends or family, and you start off the night with this as like a finger food before the main course, trust me, people will be definitely asking you for this recipe because I've made it now a couple times and there is usually not a single piece left. Like that salmon will be licked clean. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start with that many for my uh, tostinis. I think that's enough. We've got a couple extra spares here in case we run low and I can always make some more. But, um, so yeah, so this is gonna be my appy tonight. Uh, I think this is gonna go down pretty darn quick because it is really good. Um, I really recommend that you try this. The salmon kinda has that dry exterior from the smoke and it, like slow cooking for so long but the inside of it is like juicy and still like so good like perfect texture you'll love it plus the brine adds so much flavor to this dish anyways i hope you like it this here is it my smoked salmon appetizer tray you'll love this all these flavors go so well together i um uh, I just started my videos, but I've been doing them, um, you know, I think this is my third, and I'm gonna keep doing them pretty regularly, like every, I wanna say, couple of week. So if you do like what you've seen so far, um, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, a lot of these things I use my Traeger grill for because that grill, I tell you, it's incredible. I can bake on it, I've made apple pies already, I can, um, smoke on it, I can just grill on it. It does everything an oven and a barbecue does put together, plus it smokes. So I love my grill. But if you don't have a smoker like that, all of my recipes can be done either in the oven or on a barbecue. So for this, for example, if you bought, I think they're maybe about 10 bucks, uh, you can buy this smoke box at uh, anywhere, like a Canadian Tire. They sell these smoke box, and um, basically it does the smoking, the same as a smoker, but you can use your barbecue. You just have to make sure you can get the temperature nice and low to get it, so you don't want it to go over 180. So, anyways, um, please like and subscribe. Also, I do a lot of cooking in the kitchen. It's not always going to be on my barbecue. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you watch more of my videos. I cannot wait to show you what I've got.